Okay, hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about our wellness concept. First, I need to talk a bit about our healthcare system and what you consider to be healthcare because I need to shift a, a, a your thinking a little bit because um, all our behaviors are based on our belief system. So right now, people believe that our healthcare system is good or they think it's, uh, it's great that it's free in Canada. Uh, but anytime you look at the elections in the, in the U.S. or even here, healthcare is a pretty big issue. And there's a reason for that because healthcare is our number one commodity. And if you lose your health, you lose everything. So it's important to understand what are the factors that make sure that you can express health throughout your life. But the big problem is, I think Albert Einstein once said, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result, that's the definition of insanity. And unfortunately, what's happening is we're actually using healthcare, thinking it's healthcare, but it really is. Let's put your mind on this. When do you use the healthcare system in Canada? If you think about that rationally, when do you actually utilize the system? When you've got a disease or when you have something that is wrong with your body, okay? You have some sort of condition, a symptom, or a disease. So you're trying to apply, apply disease care, but you're calling it health care. And that's a huge contradiction. And what happens is the government will never really pay for your health care. They're not going to pay for you to drink purified water. They're not going to pay for you to go to the gym. They're not going to pay for you to eat organic vegetables like you should be doing. They don't play for your health care. They're always paying for your disease care, but it's being called health care. And that's a big contradiction, unfortunately. So what we have to do is all of us as a society have to start thinking, well, what is health care? What are the factors that make the human body healthy? So what I want you to try to understand is that there's a continuum between illness and wellness. Wellness is a word that's batted around a lot today, but there isn't really a good definition for it. So what we're going to be talking about here is the care that I'm providing in this office. It's a very specific kind of a wellness strategy. So what that means is on this side of the, of the thing, this is where everybody's used to being treated, quote unquote. So this is where you treat something, something that's wrong. So in our disease care model, something's broken, something doesn't work, you feel uncomfortable, you got a symptom, you have a disease, you go try to get it treated. And often in this side of this, this side of our paradigm, in this side of the spectrum, it's based on fear. You go, you get your blood analysis, you get your x-rays, your MRIs, and they say, oh my goodness, you've got this. And if you don't do something about it, and then you can fill in the bad consequences. So it's all based on a fear type of mentality. Wellness care is a completely different approach, okay? I'm not saying that we have to ignore this because obviously you have the disease, you got to do something about it. But what I'm saying is that we can apply these strategies regularly to all people, even if they do have a disease, we can utilize these strategies to help bring them to this side of the continuum. So what is wellness care? Wellness care is something that actually reinforces the body's innate genetic potential to be healthy because every living organism innately in its genetics is made to thrive and survive. And so we actually want to bring our body into the thriving mode because you have to think about this one thing. The cells in our body, our body is made up of millions and millions of cells and a cell can either be in defense or it can be in growth. It can never be in both at the same time. So your body, your body is either in a defense state, always in defense and it's not growing, or it's in a growth state. The type of care we try to provide in our office is always to bring the body towards the growth state and get it out of the defense state. Because when you're in defense, you're not expanding, you're not growing, and your body is just stuck over here. So we want to help the body get unstuck, let's say, and bring it in that direction. But you need to do something different because healthcare here this, the practitioner on this side is always just trying to fix what's broken in your body. What we're trying to do on this side is actually increase or augment the part that's actually functioning well and make it expand to help everything function well. So it's a very different approach. Even in my profession itself, there's chiropractors that are still working on this side, which is fine. They're necessary just like what I'm doing is fine. And there's no right or wrong answer to it. It's just that it's a different way to approach the body because on this side of the spectrum, the best you can hope for, even, even today there's doctors that, that are looking to talk about prevention, but what's the best you can get on this side? Okay, we're going to find the disease sooner so we can treat it better.
that's as good as you can get. Find the disease. So that's what prevention is today. Better, better um, imaging, better tests, so we can find the disease quicker. But you're still finding the disease, or you're still finding the problem. You're not preventing it from actually happening. That's the big difference in what we're trying to do here. So we're trying to push people in this direction. So basically, to, be, to live on this side as much as possible, number one, you have to realize that this is a type of care that's provided regularly, regardless of your symptoms. Because our, our healthcare system right now is when you have a symptom, you go get it, something to do about it. You try to get rid of your symptom. On this side, regardless of how you're feeling, you need to do practice things that are promoting your wellness. So we're trying to get away from your symptoms because what happens here is people says, well, I came in because my neck hurt and I do my analysis and I find all this stuff about their whole nervous system, the thing that's controlling everything in their body. And so I need people to make a different decision when they come to see me. He says, I'm, I'm not ignoring the fact that you have pain. I understand it. Okay. And I appreciate it. And I know I don't like feeling pain either, but sometimes it's necessary and your body's actually telling you something usually when you do have pain. So what the idea is here is I need people to come for better reasons because you keep saying, well, I just thought you were just going to crack my neck and make me feel better. Well, that's not what we're doing because that's stuck over here. Okay, we need to do something much bigger and much better because the health of your children depends on what we can do here. Okay, so basically on this side, NSA stands for Network Spinal Analysis and the, the type of care I'm providing, as you'll see in the videos on this DVD, it's very delicate, it's very gentle, and it's not me correcting the person. All I'm doing is, is putting an input into the nerve system in a very specific point that helps the person's body that themselves develop a strategy to self-heal and self-organize and to bring their body into growth and out of defense. Because when you're in defense, you can never expand and, and get healthy. When you're in growth, you're open, you're open to new ideas and your body can actually heal better and, and express more life. That's what we're working with here. We're working with your nervous system, not your back. Your nervous system, you live your life through your nervous system. So do your, ba so do your children, your babies. Everyone lives their life through their nervous system. If you focus on that system, that system is controlling every other one in your body. That's why it's fundamental to focus on that for your overall wellness. So you need to do three things to be well, really. The first thing is you need to eat well because obviously the food you put in your body is what makes up your body and if you're putting in crap you're going to have crap coming out of it that's what your body's going to be made out of unfortunately so you need to eat well you need to move well and you need to think well all three of these factors when they're not done properly can stress your nervous system and cause what we call subluxation in your spine and your nervous system which is a decreased uh, efficiency and it's an interference a disturbance to your normal natural life expression so what we try to do in our wellness model is teach people how to eat in their genetic capacity for what's right for the human body and that's right not what's right, what's right for the marketing companies and the television commercials we need to learn how to move well the big fundamental part in chiropractic and network spinal analysis when you see the videos you'll see the, the spine actually moves when we do the care there's breathing and there's movement. You see the little boy actually when I'm adjusting him, you see I'll adjust him and I'll be pointing to a specific area because I send a message to a brain to say pay attention right there and you'll see him start moving his neck right there. So that's a great strategy to help the body move well because movement of the spine actually stimulates your brain and keeps your brain and body healthy. So we need to eat well, move well, and you need to think well. If you constantly have bad thoughts in your mind every day and limiting beliefs and um, low self-esteem, that's not going to help your wellness as well. So all three of these factors need to be put together regularly on a daily basis, right, regardless of what you might be feeling. Okay. So when we, apply, uh, when we applied network spinal analysis, they actually did a research study on almost 3,000 people that were uh, taking this kind of care regularly and around the world. These are some of the things that the people reported when they were doing this type of care. In the area of physical well-being, they reported reduced pain, improved spinal flexibility, more energy, less fatigue, fewer cold and flu symptoms, and fewer headaches. Regarding stress in their lives, patients reported improvement in their overall health, general well-being, ability to cope with daily problems was improved, family relationships improved, and significant relationships with others and at work. Emotional psychological well-being, 
patients experienced less distress about their physical pain, even though they still had their pain, they were okay with it. They knew that it was a process and they understood they were, they were working through something. More positive feelings about their self, decreased moodiness, improved temper, fewer angry outbursts, less depression, etc. Regarding their life enjoyment, patients experience openness to guidance by their inner feelings, increased relaxation and well-being, positive feelings about self, interest in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Many people that come to us after a number of months in care, they actually decide themselves that they want to start going to the gym or eating less junk food or eating more vegetables or whatever. Maybe even quit smoking. That's happened to me a number of times with people that have been under my care. Lifestyle changes. Uh, people start doing exercise, tai chi or yoga, meditation, relaxation, consuming health foods, vitamins, uh, getting into the whole health thing. Quality of life. Patients experience personal life, self-awareness, ability to adapt to change, handling problems in their life better, accomplishments in life, life as a whole is improved, overall contentment with their relationships with their significant others, job satisfaction, etc., etc. So basically, that's what it would mean to live in the wellness lifestyle. But you have to understand it is a lifestyle because I ask you, if we live our life through our nervous system, how long should you keep your nervous system functioning properly? That's what this care does. Hopefully you would say for the rest of your life. That's what, we, well, that's what we're trying to provide, okay? A wellness strategy, something that will keep your spine and your nervous system flexible so your body can really express its life, its inborn genetic potential to be healthy. So take a look at the other videos, that way you get a better understanding of what we do here. Uh, I do a lot of specific testing in my office, testing the nervous system. I have a computer that scans the spine. I can see how your, the nerves going to your organs are functioning, how the ones controlling your muscles are functioning. I do a, a number of neurological tests here. I can see how the left and right half of your brain, how much stimulation is coming up from your body. So it's a really good functional neurological exam so I can analyze the system that's controlling your body and see how it's functioning and try to um, put you into the right direction to optimize that system. Because we're talking about potential here, improving everyone's health potential. That's the goal. From the baby, the pregnant mother, all the way up to other, you know, middle age and even seniors, okay? So I hope this helped you understand where we're thinking and what we're doing here. And hopefully you won't be coming to me saying, well, I got this sort of kink in my knee. Can you do something about it? Because there's a lot bigger things happening. I'll, tr I'll try to address everything, but just keep in mind that we're looking at the whole body and the whole person and the whole family, okay? So take care and enjoy the other videos, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.